Hello everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading video. As the title implies, this is all about life changes. Each group has one card and these cards are picked from the Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes deck by Doreen Virtue. So, after you pick your card, what will happen is that I will read right away from the guidebook and then I will tell you intuitively what I am picking up on. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, is there anything else I should say beforehand? I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. So think of any question that you have in mind or if you have any life changes you're going through and you would like some guidance, you can think of that now. Here is card 1A. Card 2B. Card 3C. You can pause if you'd like and if you need more time to figure out which card you're most drawn to. If you are not drawn to any of the cards, that is completely fine. This video just might not be for you. I have plenty of other pick a card reading videos that are timeless on my YouTube channel. And also remember that everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only and is not stated as fact. Now let's jump right into it. Hello 1A and welcome to your part of the pick a card reading video. You chose decisions. In the guidebook it states, you drew this card because you're wrestling with a decision and are unsure which way to go. Your divine guidance has been attempting to show you the best path so you already have the answer in your heart. Deep down you know the right direction. Yet fears are holding you back from taking action based on this wise resolution. This card reminds you to trust your inner knowingness and ask yourself, which path brings me closer to my life purpose? What would love do in this situation? Sometimes this card appears because you've been avoiding making a necessary decision. If so, you are being reminded that not making a decision is a decision, since you've decided to allow things to remain the same. Similarly, if you're trying to choose between two options, there may very well be a better third option for you. Additional meanings. Pray for clear guidance. Notice and trust the signs. So, intuitively when I pulled this, I thought first about how there's, like, kind of how it was saying in the guidebook, how there's mainly two main paths. And there may be a, th a third option as well. Or incorporating both of the decisions or doing neither of the options that are available to you. But I will say, for a lot of you, I think this part has to do with bad habits. Like the decision to stop a bad habit. For those of you who are who have bad habits or are wanting to do something but your negative mindset is getting in the way, this is a big wake-up call to end that bad habit or end that negative mindset. Let's say as an example, you want to eat healthier or just be healthier in general. Maybe you wanted to make a habit of going on a, a little like five, 10 minute walk every day or just, you know, um, working on a project you have bit by bit every day. Let's say you want that to happen. For a lot of you, it's like the idea is there or you've thought about things, but the action is what's missing. So you're, you've half decided, so it's not a full decision because you haven't fully acted upon it. And maybe you have so much going on in your life. I feel like a lot of you have just, you know, daily, everyday things going on. And so maybe you are putting this other thing on the back burner and maybe you're waiting for a quote unquote better time to do it. But I feel like for a lot of you, please don't be offended when I say this. A lot of you in terms of this decision are just kind of being lazy. You're not... I, like, I see somebody just laying on the couch, and it's like, of course, rest, relax, do all that. But if you actually want to make a, a, a decision for this and act upon it, then you have to put in the work. And I think a lot of you are not putting in the work. And, and circling this back around to, again, bad habits or wanting to do something or start something, but not... Like, maybe a lot of you, you're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to get the resources or who to talk to. The internet does exist. You are watching this and listening to this because you have access to some form of internet, right? Or somebody else that you know does and you're listening to it and they're having you pick this or whatever it is. So spirit really wants you to get going because I see this being something that 
you just want to continue putting off or that you feel is okay to not start working on. I think for some of you, the decisions you have to make, the answer on the other side or the option that you choose, I feel like for actually quite a bit of you, you'll end up realizing all along that it isn't even something you want to partake in or something you want to engage in. And you'll only figure that out if you put more effort into it and realize, okay, well, I guess now I can know to direct my energy elsewhere. I There's a feeling of stuckness, right? And with decisions, it reminds me, of course, of the two of pentacles. In the traditional tarot, it's somebody weighing two pentacles, one on each hand. And that's also about weighing your responsibilities. So it's like, is this something that you're willing to take up, like a project you're willing to take up? Is this something that you will be happy with in the end? And again, you have to put more effort into it to see it through instead of just thinking about it. You have to take action. And for those of you who, I think some of you too, it's like you've, again, you've dipped your toes into the water. You've like, maybe you've started taking action towards this path, but then it's like you step back or else you just take one step forward and then stop and wait for wait for time to pass, for the earth to continue moving. It's like then you're back almost at square one. Um, I think for a lot of you, the decisions you have to make, some of you, again, this can be like a very important decision that has to be made right now. It could be like not life or death, but like it needs to be done or else bad stuff will happen. So maybe, maybe for some of you that resonates, but I think for a lot of you, this pertains to something that it's been put off for so long, so it's not something that is absolutely dire needs to be done, this decision to be made, but it's something that I feel like it's a pressure on like your chest or your shoulders, and so you need to, if you want to feel, I just feel like there's a lot of heaviness with a lot of you, so if you want to feel a lot more grounded and a lot less heavy and a lot more free, then you have to make this decision once and for all. And so Spirit is like, the clock is ticking. If you want your life to not feel as stuck, make the decision. And um, I think for some of you too, this was something like a relationship. And this can be a friend relationship or a family relationship, like people you need to cut ties with. A roommate situation, um, what did I say first? But a friend relationship or a romantic relationship. So I think for some of you, it's about those relationships that you have and you just keep prolonging it. And maybe you're just ignoring the issues that are coming about. But a lot of you need to have better boundaries and it's better to like cut off from this person. Um, If it's safe to do so, you can state why you are going to end this whatever type of relationship it is. If it's not safe to do so, then you don't need to explain yourself. I think some of you, maybe you feel stuck because you also feel, some of you feel, I think, are kind of scared of what the end result will be for that, especially like what I'm saying about the relationships. Maybe some of you are afraid of being alone. Maybe the person who you need to have better boundaries with is somebody who also is a very toxic, negative person, but maybe they also have good qualities and they can help you out in some ways. But you need to then weigh out your options and figure out a better game plan for yourself because whatever this decision is that's weighing you down, like, it I, it just feels so heavy on my chest. And I think a lot of you are more f- affected by this than you even realize. I just feel very heavy and, s- like, I feel sad and it feels gray. So, and it just feels like there's no sun. And I just see spirit wanting to push you off that couch, like metaphorically or literally, and like push you outside and like get you walking out in the sunshine. Since I'm seeing that visual, maybe going for um, a walk out in the sun would be helpful for you. Maybe you also are lacking vitamin D. Decisions. The first letter is D. Um, But making better, also I will say, even if it doesn't relate to like a bad habit like what I was saying I feel is the case for a lot of you I think making better habits will get you push you towards making a final decision in the end and but spirit is really saying now is not the time to keep being in limbo it's time to 
literally make your decision right now and in the guidebook it talks about how you know you can ask spirit for better guidance but i feel like a lot of you have been getting signs but maybe you've been ignoring them or chopping them up to something else like just coincidences but they are not if you want you can sit there and meditate you can ask for them to show up in your dreams and like talk to you i think a lot of you are maybe being too <laughs> it's weird in certain instances you're being like more of the heart and certain instances like of the same situation or being more of the brain whatever helps push you further from having to make a dis an ultimate decision and i think you're being over the overly logical in moments when you shouldn't be like let's say you need to cut off from a romantic relationship maybe you're like oh we live together so financially this is better so for both of us and our lease isn't up for however much time don't only be logical and the same goes for emo the emotional side of things too so just weigh out your options ask spirit for guidance they're there for you be open to the signs that is all i have for you today 1a thank you so much for watching and listening to this video you can check out all my socials at bernie solista keeling no i am not on twitter or x also make sure that you who subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and you can like and comment down below if this resonated with you all right 1a thank you and take care hello to be and welcome to your part of the pick a card reading video you chose parental care, and I have to say, I love all of the pictures and graphics that are on each of these cards, but I really love the parental care visuals. Just the yellow and purple and a little bit of the green. I think yellow and purple is a very underrated color combo. I love this card. Anyway, in the guidebook, it states... This card indicates that the parent-child roles have been reversed and you are now involved in the caretaking of your folks. Elder care is a process of attending to your elderly or medically challenged loved ones, which can mean a big lifestyle change for you. Of course you care about their health and comfort. However, how do you balance your own health and comfort? You drew this card because your aging parents are weighing on you and you are guided to ask for help and support from healthcare professionals and other relatives. It seems that you may have been assuming that no one else would lend a hand, yet garnering appropriate assistance is essential to everyone's well-being. Loving someone does not require you to be a superhero or to, or to wreck yourself to save him or her or them. Love takes everyone's highest good into account, including your own. Additional meanings. Caring for a friend or relative. Deciding on living arra arrangements for aging parents. Healing your relationship with your parents. So for some of you, it may be very literal in terms of parental care. I think for some of you, this also will relate more so to grandparents or, I mean, aunts, uncles, anybody in your life. It could even be somebody around your age who just has health issues or some difficulties, can't live on their own. Um, For a lot of you, though, I think it more so re will relate to parents and grandparents, so I'll stick more so to that. But if it relates more to somebody else in your life, you can take that as well. So, some of your parents may be getting to that age where I feel like for some of you, where this applies, they are getting older and they are encountering some mental or physical health challenges, or you're just preparing for that to happen, especially if you know that, like, dementia or Alzheimer's, for example, runs in the family. Or maybe somebody, you know, suffered from a heart attack or a stroke and they're still healing from that and you are helping them as much as you can, whether that's financially or with words of encouragement or actually physically being there. And this is just confirmation from Spirit, if that is the case, that they see what you're doing to help with your parents. And if you're wondering if things will get better, this isn't an indicating if things will get better health-wise. And also, you know, I can't say to you any of that anyway. I'm not a health professional. Um, but what I do see is that spirit wants to, if this relates to you in any way, spirit is giving you a thumbs up, even if it's you like preparing for the future, like if you're setting aside money or maybe you're living closer to them or wanting to move closer to them now that you're older and you can support yourself uh, just in case if things bad things happen. That doesn't mean don't live your own life. Make sure that you live your own life. Don't be afraid to do things for yourself as well. But so there's a balance between living your own life and then 
preparing for or actually caring for in some way for your parents or your grandparents. I think for some of you, maybe recently you have lost a loved one. And my my condolences if that is the case. And if that's the case, I, I just think this is showing for most of you, a very loving relationship. And if you didn't have a loving relationship, I think there was love there, even if it wasn't shown very much, and that they appreciate appreciated having you either way in their life. Um, if you have a passed on parent or grandparent specifically, or somebody who was like a parent figure for you, this is a sign that they are watching over you. Some of you also maybe pulled this card because you are transitioning into like you yourself may be becoming a parent or grandparent or you are preparing for that and this is showing that you should prepare for that as much as you can and for those of you who maybe have fertility issues you know just take the necessary steps for that um and make sure that you're planning things out correctly with parental care emphasis on the care where the care can also indicate careful planning putting care and intention into what you envision for yourself and if you are a parent or will soon become a parent yourself I see if your parents or parental guides like figures in your life I see them being very happy to also help you as well so the parental care can also indicate your parents helping in a different way maybe even if they weren't as great a parent when you were younger. I see them having a better relationship with your kids if they are around to help, um, either with you raising them or just being around them and providing guidance and care and looking after them. Um, For some of you, this, for some of you, I feel like this isn't as much for some of you, but um, of course, take this if it resonates. Some of you maybe have neglected your inner child in a way. So what you need to do is parent your inner child. And you can do that in many different ways. Any form of self-care and any form of like journaling and and acknowledging any traumas that you've suffered in childhood or when you're adult too. Because a lot of people talk about childhood trauma. Like I know for me personally, a lot of my traumas come from after I turned 18 of course, like, every, you know, childhood stuff too, but, so trauma can still happen, and so if there's anything that you need to grieve from your own inner child, or if you still need to grieve, like, a parent or grandparent's death, fully doing that, and you can still honor them, this is also an indication that you can still honor them, but for those of you who need to heal your inner child, this is just spirit saying, do more to acknowledge what's happened, and don't ignore what's happened to you, acknowledge it and understand where your triggers come from for some of you you may have family or friends who in your life are suffering from mental health struggles at this point in time and you can be a very helpful resource for them or you can help them to find better resources if you do not feel very equipped and even you just doing something like that helping them find better resources can be very helpful Um, if you have a parent who struggles from addiction this is a good time for them to maybe, they might be going through a process of getting better or wanting to seek help professionally. And that could be very helpful and healing for you, whether you decide to be in contact with them or not during that process. I think that will still heal something in you. But if you do decide to have contact with a parent who is suffering from addiction and is maybe trying to do better, then this is a sign that if you do reach out to them, I see it being a better relationship. Even if, you know, you had a good relationship when you were younger and they suffered from addiction later on in life. I see you connecting and reconnecting in a very gentle way, it feels like, in a very vulnerable way, but in a very healing way, if that is the case. Uh, Some of you, too, maybe are thinking of having a pet or an additional pet, or you're wondering about your own pet or a family, lifelong family pet, you know, dog, cat, whatever. And mm, I wonder if too, if some of you maybe will take somebody else's, like somebody that you know, a family, a friend, you might have to take their pet as well and, 
and help take care of them or like raise <laughs> raise their pet that is now going to be yours. But either way, this is a good indication for if you are wanting to become a pet parent, it's a good time to start considering that. And if you are already a pet parent, you this is, this is a good indication of adding on to that or finding better resources as well for your pet. Let's say you travel a lot, so you're not always home. Finding maybe somebody who also has a dog and like introducing them and then maybe they you can pay them instead of to look after your pet instead of putting them um, elsewhere or having other people come into your home who you don't know like just things like that think about ways to then enrich the life of your pet so those were a lot of different messages that I had kind of all over the place Um, But I see it being a very healing time for you either way. Whatever message most resonates with you, you can take that and run with it. So, Tubi, thank you so much for watching and listening to this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. You can like this video and you can comment down below the card that you chose and if it resonates with you and how it resonates with you if you'd like and if you feel comfortable to do so. You can also check out my website, BrittanySolisticHealing.com and you can check out my socials. It is at BrittanySolisticHealing across everything. I do not have Twitter or X though. But again, thank you so much for watching and listening and take care. Hello 3C and welcome to your part of the pick a card reading video. You chose the card join in. In the guidebook it states, you are being called to push past shyness and meet new people. Although you might not think of yourself as sociable, it's time to take action and get acquainted with like-minded friends and associates. Your social fears stem from spending time with insensitive people, and you'll benefit from connecting with gentle and kind individuals like yourself. You received this card because, in order to meet these new friends, you'll need to join in. That means literally joining an in-person, not online or virtual, class or group so that you can network with others. Joining in also entails introducing yourself at these groups and having conversations. This positive change in your social life will open new doors for you in other areas. Additional meanings. Do charity work. Join a spiritual or religious group aligned with your beliefs. Commit to a relationship. Okay. So the commit to a relationship part, I'll just get that out of the way because I don't think that relates as much to most of you. Uh, the Like a romantic relationship. Um, that... I think isn't like a main focus for this. For, I mean, for some of you, hey, if you really are wanting to be in a new relationship right now, and if you feel that this resonates with you, then this is an indication to put yourself out there more. But I really want to focus on friendships. And when I pulled this card, I did feel there was a lot of shyness, introvertedness, and a lot of being closed off. I think for many of you, I wonder if, for many of you, you haven't had friends or close friends for a while. Like, I know for me, I haven't had close friends since I was in high school. So that was a long time ago, right? And some of you maybe relate to that. Um, I feel like there's so much I need to say for this one, actually. So, because I feel like there's so many of you who come from different backgrounds. So, I'll... I'll, um, I'll go through them, just stick with me, okay? For some of you, I think maybe you've been without friends for so long, and that could be because I think a lot of you have gone through many life changes and are completely different from the person you once were. And I think this also applies to those of you who maybe feel you have many friends, but maybe aren't as close to them anymore, or you don't connect to them in the way that you once did, and that is is I really feel like for some of you, I really need to hone that in. Because again, you can have friends, maybe you've been friends with people for like 10, 15 years, but that does not mean that those are your people anymore. Because you have to think of the person you are now. We all change, evolve, and grow, and our interests change as we grow older and as we do different things and as we are exposed to new experiences. And so whether you feel you don't have friends or you have friends that you're just not very close to or maybe you feel even you have a very close group of friends. For a lot of you, this card is indicating that you need to find people who align with 
your interests specifically. It's okay to have friends that don't have the same interests as you, but at the same time, how are you supposed to connect in like in your free time outside of work when you want to have downtime and do the things you enjoy? You want to be able to engage in things with people who share similar hobbies and interests, or at least similar enough, and there can be an exchange of of similar or similarities in hobbies and interests so spirit really wants you to think about what makes you happy maybe you already partake in certain things let's say you once a month um, meet up for a book club that or maybe you've been just thinking about doing that spirit indicates doing even small taking small steps like that will help grow into something much bigger so let's say you're thinking about joining a book club that's something where it's like okay it's only once a month and that puts you out there and if you really love reading and especially if there's a book club for a specific genre and it's people your age or or whatever right going and doing that is something that is a step in the right direction and again outside of that you can hang out with those people outside of just the book club as well or if you decide to do like a spin-off of that book club and have a separate um, smaller group as well to like continue, like maybe there's cer- a, another certain genre that you all really like, you and like maybe a few other people, like that is just an example. But I see it being something where spirit doesn't want you to be thrown to the wolves, where you have to like shine and everybody just comes rushing towards you because I think for a lot of you that can be very overstimulating. It's about doing things even if it's in quiet places you can still find people that you connect with even if at first there's not much talking and maybe you're maybe you don't talk much at all like in these gatherings or in these groups but spirit wants you to put yourself out there and realize that you can connect with people and some of you maybe are shameful of the things you enjoy, or maybe you feel like there's no outlet for those kinds of things. I know in the book it said that, like, don't do virtual stuff, do in-person stuff. I think it's okay to also start from a place of, like, online and then also eventually meeting up in person if you're able to, or, or doing, like, video stuff. I think if that's the most you can do for what you have as your interests, and maybe you live in a very small town, like, maybe it's really bad weather where you live, like, winter, whatever... I know the guidebook said do in-person stuff, but, you know, for some people that is just not a viable option. Do, even if it's the bare minimum, because that will help propel you forward, get you more comfortable with people and putting yourself out there. I want to talk more about the people who I, those of you who have friends. I just feel like a lot of you feel like you're just dragging these friends along, that you don't connect with them anymore. And again, Spirit is just saying that this is a way to connect with people who better align with your interests, your beliefs as well, but I especially feel like just your interests. And for some of you, maybe you've gone through such major life shifts, like things that are maybe more heavy, and now people don't know how to talk to you or or engage in activities or conversations with you, people in your life, and that can maybe make you realize, okay, well, maybe this friend that I've had for so long isn't the friend that I thought they would be, and when I needed them the most, maybe they're not the kind of people who are good to have around, or you can still be friends with them, but they're not the kind of people that you can talk to and relate to. Some of you, this is a perfect time to start therapy and more specifically group therapy. Group therapy, um, uh, I watched Patrick Tehan on YouTube. He talks about how he first went to group therapy before ever going to the individual therapist that he went to. Even my mom, I think it was more so a common thing back in the day. I don't know, I don't hear about people doing group therapy as much anymore, but my mom also started out, I believe, in gr- a group therapy setting, and that can also be very healing if people have gone through similar situations as you, that can help you open up more, even if not similar sim- situations as you, but I feel like for a lot of you, you will be able to find groups where you can connect with people in that way, and you, you'll go through similar things, um, but even if not, anywho... I see a group therapy setting being very healing for you and getting you to open up more. And at first, like, I see a lot of you, if that is the route you go down, I see you maybe not talking as much at first, but then opening up more as time goes on. And then again, with those individuals, you can 
both on your healing journeys, like heal together and then also learn to have fun together and like grow in your interests. This can also indicate joining in for individual therapy as well, but I think especially group therapy is going to be absolutely crucial for those of you who should go down that therapy route, can afford it, have the insurance for it, and whatnot. I think for some of you, maybe, like if you have a toxic family or a family system you don't feel great about, this doesn't pertain to you, okay? If you have family that you haven't seen in a while, or maybe things have been a little weird lately since, let's say, your, let's say if maybe your parents got divorced, just as an example, or you've gone to an argument really bad with a relative, and now you don't talk to maybe certain family family members anymore, this is an indication that you can still reach out to people within your family system who are safe for you and find ways to still connect with them. And maybe some of you as adults have found that you don't connect with like your siblings as an example or your parents. This is an indication that you can still find a way to connect with them even if you are locationally very far apart finding a way to still connect with them and find common ground and interest and finding like it reminds me I'm getting the visual of girl more girls when they had to start um going to the Friday dinners the Friday suppers I see it doesn't even have to be that often of a thing right maybe once a month doing something with family um whether you still have a family or you live very far away from them Doing something where you can connect in some way. Maybe it's watching at the same time a movie. And then maybe for like 10 minutes afterward discussing and FaceTiming about that movie that you saw. Maybe you both or you and some family members love horror movies. That's just a way to connect. I think for some of you too, you don't even realize how much you connect to certain family members. And maybe how similar their up like if they're older or the same age as you, how similar their upbringing was to yours. Or just how similar of a person they are to you, even if it's just in terms of interests, hobbies, political views, whatever it is, I guess. Um, Also, I will say, anything... I know I said starting out small is really good, but for some of you, being in bigger groups can be really helpful. And being in smaller subsets of those bigger groups. So, like, for some of you, if that relates to your spiritual beliefs or your political beliefs, finding a community within that will be very healing for you as well. Because I feel, I just feel for a lot of you, there's, like, a loneliness and a sadness and maybe, maybe some of you feel very headstrong, like, I don't need anybody in my life, I'm doing me right now. This is spirit telling you, even if you're a very independent person and you're doing good on your own, you will do even better within a community of people or within at least one or two other people that you can confide in, that you can relate to, or that you can share common ground with. And I just feel like, compared to the other two cards, this one, I feel, well, I, I kind of felt like, the, like this in the first um, group, but for you, I feel like spirit really wants me to, like, scream this. It's like, no, <laughs> no, join in, join in, join in. Find people with the common interests. And for those of you who are around toxic people, cut them out. You have the power and the ability to have people in your life who are better suited for you and who you can relate to and who you can actually trust and there's like I feel like some some of you struggle with feeling comfortable and that you can trust people spirit is indicating to you right now that you will be able to find that even if it's again for many many of you it's about those baby baby steps taking one small step forward every day or every week every month and doing that and that will be a positive snowball effect into something that will positively impact your life whoo I feel so riled up. Not a bad way, but it's just like, I just feel like spirit wants me to like, I, I'm, I'm visualizing, I don't know what they're called, but you know those like cheerleaders, like have those big things they yell in, they shout in. I just, I see that like, like a, I just see like me yelling through that, wanting to be like, oh no, listen, listen, it's okay. <laughs> um, But yes. I will just leave it at that or else I will continue, I think, saying a lot of the same stuff that I've already said. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like, you can like the video and you can comment down below if this resonated with you, whether it's now or in the future. If you come back later in the future and you're like, hey, I took your advice or whatnot, you can subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. I have a lot of pick a card reading videos on my channel and a bunch of other stuff like meditations, guided uh, regressions and such. You can check out my website, BrittanySolisticHealing.com. You can also check me out on all socials at BrittanySolistic Healing. I do not have a Twitter or X account, though. 
but I will leave it at that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it, for some of you, maybe it's a little bit eye-opening. Um, but thank you so much and take care. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. If you liked the content, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below as it really helps my channel out a lot. You can follow me on my socials listed here on the screen. And you can also check out my website, brittanyshilistichealing.com, which is also listed below. Through my website, I offer Reiki, Astrology, Tarot, and other services. Thank you and blessed be.